Hello friends. Welcome to Modern Control Engineering Lecture Series. I am Tunde Emmanuel. Today's lecture is Introduction to Discrete Time Control System. This video will cover overview of digital control system, difference equation as a modeling tool for discrete time system and simulation of discrete time system on the basis of difference equation. Uh, suggested textbooks for further reading are presented here, Digital Control Engineering, Analysis and Design. You can decide to read along. So let's begin. The principles of modern control engineering is such that we are able to identify a system and having identified a system which could be any kind of system it could be biology cool system physical system mechanical system fluid system whatever system and we want to be able to model that system using mathematical means means then having modeled the system we want to apply some control laws to make the system perform the way we desire now in the case of discrete time control system our plant is our system of interest then our digital controller is the controls uh, the part of the system so being digital controller we have two interfaces analog to digital converter which serves as input uh, interface to the digital controller then we have digital to analog converter which serves as output interface to the digital controller so here is our block diagram for the digital control system as the, this as it is depicted in the block diagram we have our plant right here and uh, that plant has produced an output or what we call the system response which is measured with a sensor and the output of the sensor which is a measured output is now compared with the comparator with our reference input to produce an error signal the error signal is a measure of the departure of or deviation of the output from the reference input and this error signal is in analog form so there is need to convert it to digital form through an analog to digital converter which is now processed the output of which is processed by a controller and and the, the digital output is reconverted to analog signal which is now used to drive the plant this is basically how the digital control system works. Now, for continuous time system, we use differential equations to model the behavior. Uh, whereas, uh, in the case of discrete time system, difference equations are uh, used to model the characteristics. Now, for the transformation, mathematical transformation of differential equation, Laplace transform mathematical tool is employed. Why Z transform is used to um, mathematically manipulate difference equations. So, uh, to depict the underlying principles of difference equation, the, the difference equations attempt to give us the understanding of how the system behaves and it, fo it focuses on the present response of the digital system and the present response is equals to the summation of the present input and the present and the past input plus past output and the uh the uh and other difference equation the general equation 
is given here and y of n uh, indicates the present output or present response and it's equal to these two times on this side. The first time is the sum of the present input and the present and the past input. And uh, the second time is the sum of the past output. Okay. So next we look at three basic operations for simulation of uh, difference equation. First one is addition, second multiplication by scalar, and the third is unit delay. So the sub uh, system or block for representing uh, the each of the operation in our simulation as shown. This is for addition. The block is called an adder, where x1 of n is being added to x2 of the n to produce x1 of n plus x2 of n. Then multiplication by scalar, we have x of n being scaled up by a value, a scalar value a to obtain a x of n. Then unit delay, x of n is applied to unit delay block to obtain x of n minus 1. Now, a simple ex example is presented here. We have uh, a difference equation y of n plus a y of n minus 1 equals b x of n. And to find, to, to simulate the system in block diagram, we have to focus on the current response, which is y of n. So we make y of n the subject of formula. From this equation, we obtain this. So y of n is now equal to minus a y of n minus 1 plus v x of n. Now to implement the system in block diag uh, diagram, we use the earlier uh, discussed uh, blocks. So we have x of n as our current input and y of n as our current output or response of the system. So the current input x of n is scaled up by b. So that's what we have here. And this uh, added to a delayed version, which is the past input output y of n minus 1. And that is multiplied by minus a. And is added up to the uh, output of this block. So which gives us y of n. So y of n is equal to minus a y of n minus 1 plus b x of n. This is a simpler one. We have y of n is equal to b not x of n plus b1 x of n minus 1. So b not x of n is a scale uh, value of the current input plus uh, b1 x of n minus 1 is a delayed uh, input multiplied by b1. This is past input and this is present input added together to give us the current output. So we have our x of n which is the current input scaled up by b0 then is delayed to obtain x of n <laughs> minus 1 which is scaled up by b1 and is added up to give us y of n. Now we have a fairly complex example here. Simulate the discrete time system described by the difference equation below. And the equation is y of n plus a1 y of n minus 1 plus a2 y of n minus 2 plus a3 y of n minus 3 plus a4 y of n minus 4 equals b of bx of n. Now, if you look at this, this is our current output. And this is our past output scaled up by a1, a2, a3, a4. And uh, this is bx of n is our current input scaled by b. Now, since our focus is on the current output, we make y of n subject of formula. So y of n gives us this. Now, to simulate that difference equation, this is what we obtain. Here is our 
current input scaled up by b a scalar value so b multiplied by x of n and that is added up to minus a1 this delayed output minus a2 times this delayed output minus a3 times this delayed output and minus a4 times this delayed output these are past outputs so we get the current output we delayed to get y n y of n minus one we delayed again to get y n y of n minus two and delayed again y of n minus three until we get to y of n minus four and these are the scalar values that scalar multipliers we use to multiply them and they are all added up to a scaled x of n to give us our current response which is y of n so this is uh, how you simulate uh, using block diagram uh, our difference equation describing a system so in summary attempt has been made to explain basic concepts of digital control system which includes difference equation and simulation of discrete time system i hope this uh, concepts of digital control system are now clear to you please send in your questions through the comment section below if you have any i'll be glad to respond to them before the next lecture in order to be notified when the next lecture video is posted online please do subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe button and notification bell below thank you